Alright, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Great Southern Billiard Tour, Cincinnati, Michael's Billiards. Inside Pool Magazine's production of the nine ball open here. We're about to play a match. Richie Richardson versus Michael Burdett. This is Richie you're looking at here. Richie is actually the top Calcutta getter uh, in a player auction. Wow. In both the Banks and Nine Ball. Uh, he was the pick of the litter in both. Pick of the litter. And for those of you top that don't pick. know about player auctions, uh, pick of the litter is basically where you can pick uh, anybody out in the whole, whole tournament. Who do you think is going to win? And it's an open bid, and you bid on it. Anyway, I believe that this is a 10-7 match. And we've got Richie Richardson versus Michael Burdett. Now, the guys are warming up just a hair, but I think they're getting ready to lag it up now. Yep, it's lag time. Hey, and all our friends out there in the chat, what's up, everybody? Pool Junkie, Detroit Honey, Rooster1975. Who else we got? Oh. Looks like we've got a ton of guys out there that are, uh, we got Blitzkrieg, Michael yep. Basha, he's out there, he's hanging. Pool Junkie. Absolutely. Got uh, KG underscore FL, one of our other viewers, and of course Sally T's out there. What's up, Sally, our moderator? Uh, if you guys want to help uh, make the party a little bit larger, go ahead and hit that little F button on the bottom of your video player there, and it will not stop the playing of the video, and it'll just help you make a Facebook post. If you use Twitter also, hit the little T. And Ustream does about 99% of whatever you need to do there. It makes it really easy. Just hit a couple of buttons, invite your friends over. And if you want to send them a private message, by all means do so. Well, Richie's getting ready to kick off the match here. Kick off. He broke those balls nice. He hit the safe side, and he's going to end up with a shot on the one and make a couple of balls. And... Uh, Boy, he's supposed to be out here. About perfect. I think he'll just draw this ball out around. Make a draw. Back to the center of the table or just go straight up on it. Wow. His name is Simon, and the things he draws come true. <laughs> I laugh at my own jokes. It's fun. I'm my own. I don't like this. Ouch. Oh, no. Pain and suffering. He How got, did he come out of that? <laughs> well, he got lucky. <laughs> Many a player have been uh, caught in that trap and never got out of it. Wow, this is going to be kind of funny. It looks like he's got a t tiny, tiny little angle here. Oh, he can cheat this quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, he's just going to slide up table there, get beyond the side pocket. Tininess. There you go. See, big things come in small packages with angles like that. Well, he's playing fast. I've heard a lot about this guy. I've never actually seen him play yet. I mean, he may have done one of the streams before. I don't remember. But, uh, well, he's jumping up on uh, Michael. One to nothing. So uh, we're here at Shannon Dalton's Great Southern Billiard Tour. And we'd like to uh, thank a couple of the sponsors. Nick Varner Custom Cues. Andy Gilbert, custom cues, made a beautiful cue. And Tagger Products. And uh, also go to GreatSouthernBilliardTour.com, TheGreatSouthernBilliardTour.com, to get updates on Shannon and Marge's tour. They're doing a great job. They're uh, always uh, helpful with Inside Pool, helping us have good content. 
they got a great uh, handicap system, and of course Shannon's a genius player, so you know he's he's the thought of all the rules. Well, it's a nice little pairing with Inside Pool Video and uh, Great Southern Billiard Tour. I feel that we're really helping their cause, and uh, you know they're helping us quite a bit too. So, I mean, it's it's a, a natural partnership, I guess. Yeah, and we uh, promote our tours. We let everybody know, like out on Facebook, a week ahead of time, sometimes that we're going to be there. Um, JR has 5,000 friends, so you can't add him, but uh, you can add Inside Pool Mag Magazine, and they update there. You can add my Facebook, which is Alvin Nelson. You can uh, keep in touch there, and we will talk with you. And if you have any suggestions for us, Please let us know through Facebook or here on the stream. Always like to have your feedback. Wonderful. There's a lot of ways to keep up with us, too, if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yep. Uh, subscribe Mac. here at the Ustream channel. Uh, doing both of those will definitely keep you up to speed with us, but definitely uh, we have a product and a group page over on Facebook that's... Uh, uh, beyond what I have as far as friends, but uh, we try and keep the, all those folks updated, and you know, be a good way. We don't spam you; we just kind of tell you when things are going down and yeah, well, get away. Yeah, absolutely. And we do uh, add up photo galleries, and of course, you can check out the magazine at InsidePoolMag.com to see the amazing magazine Jr. and Sally put out every month, and all the rest of the writers. You got some really great writers that work there uh, for them. You got, uh, let's see, we got uh, Bob Henning. Bob I Henning. love his articles. Tom Simpson. Yep. Uh, we just brought on the writer, uh, banker, Freddie Benton Vega. Yeah, interesting guy. Scott Frost is uh, doing a one pocket article for us now. Freezer Man. And then all of the great articles you guys put out. keeping up on all the next greatest things that are going to happen with pool. Got some really amazing stuff coming out for pool, you know. Got a uh, great shot there. That was great. Got Blair Thine's Pool Poker and Pain TV show coming out. We're going to be covering that. You'll see all the great coverage of that event, those events from Inside Pool Magazine, I'm sure. There's Shannon watching the shot. You see him with his camo? Looks like he's ready to go deer hunting. Yep, he I is. did just come from uh, John's. He was down at yep. John Brumbacks. They might have done some deer hunting. Brumbacker. I don't think there's a spring season here. No, they may have been doing the old. <laughs> spring gobbler? For sure. Uh, or driving around with a, f a flashlight and a shotgun and headlighting deer. I don't know. No, they don't do nah. that. Just joking. Well, deer hunting, I know that the monk month has to have an R in it. Yeah, dur. Well, as a, a, you know, N with an R, I guess is how they say it. Mm-hmm. R-Y. Dur. Yeah. Yep, that's how dur. Shannon says it, dur. He got him a good one last time we were here. Yeah, I think he got a one that was 180 pounds dressed out. Yep. Pretty big deer. That's a funny picture seeing Shannon dressed up in uh, hunting gear and Brumback dressed up out in the field. You know, you're used to seeing those guys at a pool table with trophies, mm -hmm. and then you see them with a bunch of guns and camo. I think Shannon might have those on his Facebook page. Great Southern Billiard Tour has a Facebook page, too. You might want to add, help promote. Well, and just like that, it's 1-1. One, one. Boom. I want to thank our, What's that? Go ahead. No, you go right ahead. I think they're going to start keeping score on the beads there for us just so that we can keep up. Yeah, so, whoa. So we'll be able to give you an accurate score getting, count here. Getting seasick there. He shook the rig. A <laughs> <Yeah, they, laughs> little bit heavy there on the hand there, guys. <laughs> Don't get that excited. It's just a bead. 
Yes, we have a suspended light rig with cameras on it. Yeah, this, look at this. They uh, kind of ganged up and made sure there was nothing going down on the one. Uh, KGFL says earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool yeah. fanats out there. What's up? Pocketed the nine. Now maybe explain for people why he did that. What do we have here? Pool Fanat, uh, thanks for the compliment on the stream. We work hard at it. Yep. Appreciate the fact that you guys enjoy it. Yeah, post our link for us on Facebook and MySpace. Please get more people on the stream for us. So add to the chat, too. The more the merrier. And uh, nice if, anybody, if anybody knows anything about these players, let us know. Uh, we're not... Um, particularly keened in on these two players here. So that's the beauty of this chat, that, that sometimes a lot of these people know what these guys have won, where they're from, what rooms they play out of. Any kind of uh, adding to our stream here would be great, so thanks. Looks like he's going to shoot the cheese here. I think he's going to take a shot at it. It's cheesy time. A lot of times what we get is uh, parents, family members, girlfriends, wives. They'll all come on and uh, watch uh, and uh -huh. we'll see what we say. Don't be afraid to speak up and uh, correct us. Wow. Uh, little twofer there. Richie was on Judge Judy one time, says. Yeah, he was. Huh, I wonder what that was all about. Well, don't ask him about it yeah. because I understand that that's a sore subject with him oh. because it didn't go too well. Okay. Man. <laughs> And I believe he stole my stereo. <laughs> and then I don't, no, I don't think it was anything that bad. Uh, but good. Michael is going up two to one. Uh, we want to mention our uh, sponsor, Cut Shot, thecutshot.com. We didn't run their commercial yet, but we will. Thecutshot.com. Thanks to him, he's our weekly sponsor. Hammerheadhustling.com. Great T-shirts. They're going to be helping us with our inside pool t-shirts, too. Yeah, I think so. Uh, they're going to help us out. And we are going to help them. So go to hammerheadhustling.com and order one of Let's Don't Be a Knit t-shirts. All right, you guys got to hook me up with one of those at Derby City out there, Hammerhead. I want to Super walk Billiards on. Expo. Yes, uh, sorry, Derby City's already over. I don't I've know caught what. a Derby City like 80 billion times since I've been here. Everybody wow. looks at me like I've got three heads. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Well, that was a. I think I'm still in Derby City shock from that tournament. Wow. Ooh, he screwed up here. Well, it's an interesting strategy. Let's see if it pays off. Let's leave Richie Richardson straight in. Why not? <laughs> That could be a chess move. You never. Ooh, he lost that. But hey, look, he's fine. He, he, he got, played that. He, he did. Yeah, that's. He's he's See, a good enough player. He knew what was going on there. I don't like to do that. But yeah, it's made him perfect. So. He should be perfect to come around for the side. He, yeah. He's gonna come. Uh, 
Now we're knotted up at two apiece. Why don't we uh, take a look at that nice hammerhead commercial here? Hammerhead hustling. Two to two. We're changing the score here for, for you folks. Two, two, two. Breaking from the rail. I don't know how that works on these bar boxes. Looks like you got kicked. Fairly out. well. Sure it does with the pockets that big, as long as you hit them right. Got kind of funny on the one. Has a shot to do something with it. Richie I Rich. really do not like uh, banking at the nine, but I think I could go behind a three here. Or try to. It's this is an interesting shot. Wow, look at this. I see the future, and it is cheesy. It is yellow. <laughs> cheesy world. Hearing the voice of Marge Cooper out there. Great Southern Billiard Tour promoter. Look at this. Well, that was a really interesting shot, what he did there. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he wanted to do, too. And that turned out pretty good. I mean, there's no mm. gimme shot on the one. I think Richie's going to stick him in that gap behind yep. the nine yep. in the rail. Yep. There's really? all kinds of blockers, though. He can do all kinds of stuff here. Well, there's a, lo a lot of natural built-in two- or three-way safeties. Sure. See it? That's the be easiest one, of course. Yeah, Richie Rich is his nickname. Richie Rich. Get some kind of fancy spin shot here. Juiced no. up, juiced up shot. Yeah, uh, I didn't see any future in no, that. No, I knew he was going to sell out. I there. mean, that, that that was such a good save. He's supposed to be looking at tying the eight ball up with something if he could. Just to force some type of hard shot to be out there. Nothing's even in the way of any other ball. And the only thing Richie has to do now is not run into things. And he's made, you know, with ball in hand, that should be fairly easy to eliminate third of the rack before you even have to move your cue ball. He doesn't move his cue ball a ton. He just kind of Well, makes Richie stop. Is, is an experienced bar player. Sure is. I mean, you know, you're not really going to like matching up with him on a bar table too often. <laughs> I bet not. Three to two. Blitzkrieg says, this guy is pro-level, Maine. He's solid as a rock. 
Good solid break. Where's the two going to line up? Nowhere where you can make it. Yep. Hit it. Smell it. So, was he planning on making the one there, or did he? I don't know, you know if he was going at the one. I he's don't like ranked a seven. Uh, you know, he's a B player. I doubt that he's really looking at the break the right. way some of the A players do. <laughs> right, right. Uh, so not to say that he can't. You know, I know guys that break great uh -huh. and are not great players. But chances are he lucked into one. Yeah, I always try to play position on the one and make the wing ball. Because going at the one, I mean, you're putting away your first shot. Of, you're guaranteeing that you don't have a shot on the one by trying to pocket that one in the side. Yeah, you're playing playing luck say, position on the deuce sure, now. Sure, exactly. That's, that's pretty brutal. When you really get down to it, it's why not just scatter the balls every shot, right? Right. The reason you don't do that is because you don't want the outcome to be so far against you. It's just it's insane. Well, that's what happens during the break. And you know how they're set up, and you know how you, you get to choose how hard or soft you hit them and the, the manner that you hit them. Well, uh, very few guys look at it that way until they get become a better player and they realize that they can lose and have the break in their hand and, and not like the outcome. Earl Strickland breaks barb table nine ball from the center of the table and draws the cue ball backwards. That's an interesting shot there. Now with ball in hand, Michael, he's supposed to be able to get out here. He can make the five and lose, let the two go over towards the other lower right-hand corner pocket here and just stop the cue. So I think he should be fine. Interesting approach here. Wow. Oof. A little crazy for my ideas there. Michael's Billiards in Cincinnati. Stop in here. 24-hour pool room, everybody. If you love 24-hour pool rooms. Look at this. He's he's not he's that six is huge here. That is a really big six ball. It's big as a basketball. Thank you.
Yeah, Michaels has been taking really good care of us here. We really appreciate them for uh, making this event happen. Good crew here. Nice people. Absolutely. For those of you just tuning in, you're watching an inside pool video production of the Great Southern Billiard Tour. We're here at Michael's Billiards in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yep. You're watching Richie Richardson going to 10 versus Mike Burdett, who's going to 7, and Mike just shot. I'm J.R. Calvert. Joining me here in the booth is Alvin Nelson of Inside Pool. Howdy. Yeah, and they're asking, where are we at? We are at Michael's Billiards in Cincinnati off 275. In uh, Fairfield, Ohio, I guess is the suburb here. Yeah. So if you're, mm -hmm. if you're heading down to uh, one of the Southern tournaments, stop in at Michael's, and uh, you're guaranteed some action. You got uh, Shannon Murphy hangs around here. Some other great players that'll definitely give you some action. They got a super tight diamond table in the back, the diamond mine they call it. Great food here. Great staff, Tara, Steve, Michael Medley himself. And this place is packed. Nine ball, disappears. Looks like we're up to uh, yeah, four to two, in favor of Richie. what happens at the break here okay that nine isn't going to count if it goes did not but i see the future again uh, i'm seeing a two nine here in a second yep now i know that there's some question about the uh nine ranking and the 10 ranking here and the seven ranking now we got the 10 ranking from march and she, I guess that's double A. Now Blitzkrieg, Mike Bosch is helping us out in the chat there. And it's, you know, 10, wow. 9, 7. That was an awesome shot. That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. <laughs> mean to interrupt you there. That was just uh, no. really good, really good. Great shot. Well, quickly it's, the pressure is rising. Five to two. Nice break. Really Kept nice. cue ball on uh, string that time. Really nice. Took it down table, brought it back to the center. All he has to do here is miss the six, trying to stay down table. Now in the uh, players' auctions, I think Richie went for 275 in both auctions, and he was the pick of the litter in both auctions. He's a heck of a player, I'll tell you.
Wow. Huh. Well, that's I think he, that he wishes he had that back. Yeah, well, that's why he's going to seven. Well, I see another bead on uh, Richie Richardson's side. Richie Rich. Yeah, there's a lot of chat chatter right now going on in the chat about, you know, is Richie Richardson a pro? Uh, probably the only thing that I can say that's happening uh, in the last year is the BCA has really decided to become a player organization again. For a while, they build themselves as uh, basically an, an organization that was built by and for industry. And... They got rid of their leagues and they moved into just running with with industry, and they're going back to it now. They are a member of the WPA, and have kept their memberships active. And what's happened is, they've said we want to control the rankings. Now there was a question where they took them away from the UPA, and it does cost uh, the BCA ten thousand dollars a year just to keep active with the WPA and be the registered umbrella organization in the North America continent. So there's some serious money getting laid out and they are in charge of the rankings. So if you want to know if somebody's officially ranked, start to look at the BCA rankings. They're available on our site. Uh, they're available on a couple of other sites around the internet. But that is what Moscone Cup uses and it's pretty much where we're going to say that uh, where guys are pro, and I think they're getting ready to really get into developing where that cutoff is to say that you're a pro using those rankings. So that that hopefully that will be out there one point where they'll say anybody that's in the top 64 of the BCA ranking list as of this date won't be eligible. So I hope that helps you guys out. But we're one step further along that line to where we can definitely say a person's a pro and just because they play as good as somebody and on that list and maybe even give that guy the eight if they're not on that list they're not a pro and I know that at some point there they're gonna keep that rankings alive for up to two years and there will be a certain determination where if you've been in the top 64 for the last two years or during the last any time during the last two years they may deem you as a pro Big, big thing, isn't it? Absolutely. Nobody really knows who's a pro. Well, it says, they said on the that Richie plays for a living, so he is a pro. It says uh, one of our members here. So scroll back up. That was uh, Sybin13 says he is a pro. And back playing says he plays for a living, so yes, he's a pro. Shark Tube says, but once you're in the spotlight, you'll go into a place and not make a nickel. That's true. That's true. But and it's forcing players that people say, and this is where the natural selection comes out. If you really can give Johnny Archer the eight ball, who's going to play you? Right. You're not going to make any money with the game hustling because nobody, everybody's going to know. So the only place you can go is the Pro Tour. To the Pro Tour. That's what those guys need to do, you know, I think. But uh, give anybody the right weight, and there's a game. Something can always be arranged. Yeah, there's, uh, you know. I don't see why they wouldn't want to play him. Well, it's still the fact that, you know, at some point there, you can play all night, give somebody, play the best pool in the world, and break even with somebody. And have $137 racked up in table time. Yeah. Eventually that'll wear out on you. And yeah. It's just one of those things. I, I just don't see uh, if the money ever gets right, I'm sure they'll come out of the woodwork like they did for the IPT. But there are a lot of people that actually, you know, know that they can play and win, win the money. 
Uh, but when we get a, a, a little bit more money on a tour, natural selection will, will only leave the better players on that tour. Who will know who's a pro and who's a semi-pro at that point? Camel Days was the closest thing we ever came to that. Yeah, you were a pro on that tour, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I was. I was a touring professional, and that uh, there was only about 25 or 32 of us, uh, depending on the year you went through. And uh, nice. If you made it on that tour, you could make it anywhere. There were guys that were great players that were going over three, four tournaments in a row. You never had an easy match. Wow. And if you wanted to get on the tour, you had to have your money up and you had to have it paid because was, everybody was beating the door down to try and get in. And they weren't letting in guys that couldn't make two balls, which was a problem that everybody had with the IPT is sure. their selection of people. You know, they had people that couldn't make two balls because they put in a, you know, uh, an application. They didn't like the way that... Uh, uh, they were picked and not picked, so to speak. Uh, they're asking what other top players are here. Sybin 13 is. And uh, we have, uh, let's see, uh, Justin Lazaro's. No, no, no. Uh, what's the guy that won the Banks tournament? Derby City Banks that's here. He won the Derby City Bank tournament years ago. Anyway, we have Alex Olinger's here. We have uh, oh, uh, Louis DeMarco. Yeah, Louis DeMarco. That's right. It's uh, a good hit right there. I think uh, he's going to, yeah, he got away with it. Let's see. Billy Pinion's here. Um, Chris Bossy's here. Broomback was walking around, but he, you know, he's not playing. Shannon Murphy's over there gambling. There's a couple other great players here. That Mike Mark Sly Jr., man, he really impressed me last match. I think we're going to see quite a few good players. Uh, like I said, I think we're barely getting to where there's 32 players left in this event. Yep, Robert Frost is here. So hope that answers your question there. Uh, the brackets are online. The link is at the top of the chat. We have not updated those for about an hour. Uh, we knew better because Marge Cooper had that look in her eye like, you know, back away from my computer and don't, don't ask me for the brackets. But uh, we let her know that the folks out in the chat were asking about them and she obliged. But uh, we'll probably visit her after this match and see if she has any more updates for us. Another one of our sponsors as Michael runs out this rack. Uh, he's a little bit in trouble here, but I think he'll find a way to get out on this six. Uh, PoolPlayerExcuses.com. Whimsical little towel for pool players' excuses why they, they lose. Uh, if you get a chance, go over and check it out. I know that Ozone Billiards just picked up the towel. I have one in my pool, ca pool cue case, I'll tell you that much. If you're interested in finding one, uh, go to PoolPlayerExcuses.com or uh, send Sally T a PM on our, our moderator. Absolutely. Let's see what Richie's going to do here. Played a perfect shot. Basically. Yeah, he did. He's out. This is going to be, you know, routine for him. Pool wow. fan at uh, was asking whether we're going to be doing the streaming of the 14.1 over at the Super Billiards Expo, and we're going to be doing, I believe, the finals of that in the main arena. Uh, Alan Hopkins and I had spoke about it, making sure that it was good, and uh, he's getting the timing done for that. So it's it's about 99 percent. I'm going to be talking to Charlie Eames, make sure that he has. Uh, all the things scheduled so it looks like that's a go you know I don't know whether Stevie Wonder's playing right now 
It's been a while, but, uh, you know, if, if he's going to show up, I guess he'll be showing up in his backyard over at the Super Billiards Expo. To Steve Dombrowski, great player. Yeah? About as quick as they come. I haven't seen He'll it. run 100 balls in 25 minutes, wow. and it's not a joke. Well, uh, Richie, oh, Rich, that break. Richie Rich is on the hill here. Uh, I think he needs to go to 10, so he's not on the hill. But then again, what do I know? I guess we'll see if he uh, if the intel that we got from our PA is uh, trustworthy. J Head, J Head, that's his name. New PA. My one of my very best friends. And yes, his name is H E A D. Nickname Bobble. Uh huh. Or J the Head. So, any word on the uh, gold-plated limited edition bobblehead, uh, Elvin Nelson bobblehead doll? <laughs> it's on the way. Is it, isn't it from the same people that did the clapper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've fallen, and I can't get up. Yep, they're the same ones that made the J.R. Calvert scale model testers model kit. <laughs> limited edition sculpture. When's your hey. autobiography coming out, Jared? Uh, it's, it's coming out very <laughs> soon. and <laughs> Included in the package will be a Snuggie. <laughs> nice. I love it. Look at this. Boom. It's over. No, that's... No. Uh, yeah. That's... that's According to that, it says that he now has... Oh, he's got to go to 10. That's right. My bad. Yeah, he has to go 10. See, it's all blending together here, my peoples. So, you know, it looks like uh, RPA has actually uh, gathered some correct Whoa. intel. Yep. Whoa. He can make it with us on another shift. Yeah. Shift. Yeah, Jay and, did uh, good. Whoa. Wow, what Hold a on. mangle break. Boy, I'll tell you, Michael, he has that. He puts his arm into that break. Yeah, he does. He saws that break right off. Yeah, so he wasn't going for the one ball because he didn't make it this time. Pool Junkie wants me to throw in a sham wow. Yep, sham wow. Well, I think we have a 50 seconds before the match is over. Yeah, I see uh, the future here. I'm not saying Richie has happy feet, but... Happy feet. There's nothing really that's telling me he's going to run into a problem. Anybody get a stopwatch out? Yep. Well, I... Uh, Where's an egg timer when you need one? Yep. Well, it was really fun being here with you, JR, again, <laughs> and uh, I guess uh, that's going to be all, folks, for now. Should be back with <laughs> we'll you. We'll actually in about, let him make uh, the nine ball here. <laughs> back with you in about uh, ten minutes for the next match. It's over. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors: the Cut Shot, Hammerhead Hustling, uh, Pool Player Excuses, and yep. Nick Varner Custom Cues, Andy Gilbert yep. Custom Cues, and Tiger Billiard Products. Folks, uh, share the share the love on Facebook for us, and we'll be back with another match here shortly. Thanks a lot. Thanks.
Start. That's on table seven. 